Welcome everybody, my name is Tiffany, I'm the Tipsy Artist, and we are coming to you from our Century Old Saloon in Guthrie, Oklahoma. Every time we paint, I'll be wearing a new corset, since we are in a Victorian steampunk town. I'll be coming to you with a brand new corset every time, very fun, we're having a lot of fun with costumes. Today, this is my pretty little outfit, so I'm pretty excited about it, it's got fun little sleeves and it's just a really pretty little corset. Then also we will have these for sale online. These are the downloadable digital templates. So today we are doing farm animals. We do recommend using some heavy cardstock to print, which I have done, and then you can just cut them out yourself. So I've got the cow, and then I've got the little cute piggy here, and then I have a cute little chicken. So again, all very easy to cut out. Then what we do is we go ahead and trace them on the canvas. I've already done that here. I love using a Sharpie because it really defines the space, gives me a nice defined line around all those shapes. Um, if you're a little bit hesitant on your tracing skills at first, you're a little bit concerned, of course you're welcome to use a pencil if you want to, uh, but as you get used to it, I do encourage going over to the Sharpie because it really does make it easier when you start to paint. So I've got that part of it done. Then let's talk about our supplies a little bit. So I have all those nearby. I want to make sure you're ready to go. So I will have my brushes nearby. I like to use my Big Daddy brush, which is the biggest brush that I've got. And then the Mama brush. And then Little Buddy. And then Little Bit. So that's our little cute little family there. Then I've got either, you want to make sure you got paper towels nearby or little rag is also helpful, bucket of water, and then lots of plates. I like to have lots nearby. And then of course our paint. I use uh, just really affordable student acrylic paint and uh, you can pick this up at any craft store. So that's all good. All right, now to get started, I always start with my background first. So I'm going to be using my Big Daddy brush. So I'm going to find Big Daddy. This is the biggest brush that you've got. And mixing plate. And I have a black background for this that I'm going to be doing today. Let me show you the inspiration really quick too. So this is another painting that I did uh, during one of my shows. I am changing it up a little bit today. I'm actually going to go for just a fun cow print today. Uh, last time I did I used a ruler and I did a stripe, so that's certainly an option. Uh, we will still be doing the roses and the little dots and a heart, so we're going to keep some of that magical detail happening. Uh, but you are always welcome to change this up and do whatever you want uh, according to your own color scheme in your home to make it really cute to match your decor or whatever patterns you really like. Some people do circles in here, which is, that's real easy to trace with like a little coin or something like that. All right, so that is our inspiration. All right, now getting back to the background. I'm going to be doing a solid black color. So just black paint here. Get that all loaded up here on the plate. And my Big Daddy brush. Now I just want to use a dry brush. I don't add any water to this kind of paint. Um, since this is a student grade acrylic paint, and it's definitely an economy kind of paint, um, it, you can see how it even starts to run. It's very, uh, it, it's much more, th it's a thin body paint. If you go with a heavy bodied expensive acrylic paint, you will probably have to add a little water, but we don't have to do that here. So I'm going to go ahead and start to place my brush into the paint. Push it on one side, push it on the other side. That will load up the brush very nicely. And so I like using this in the background. And we are working in the background. I like to turn the handle over to the side uh, so that it is parallel to the canvas. Parallel to the canvas. This gives us really nice coverage over the surface. And I'll work this into all the large areas. Now when we do start to cut in around these shapes, you can see how the details become very tiny. And I will have to switch brushes 
to my cute little kiddos here, either little buddy or little bit when I'm starting to cut into these shapes. But I do not want to use these brushes to work into the background. So you want to just use these to work in around the shapes. Let me give you a little example here. So this is little buddy. Again, still just using a dry brush, push back and forth here. And then I just hold it just like you'd hold a pencil. And I'm gonna go ahead and just work around those shapes. Just like that. And if it becomes really tiny, as it does in some of these areas, like around the cute little piggy tail, around the chicken, uh, then you will probably have to use your little bit brush here. So I'm going to go ahead and when I load up a little bit, let's talk about how we load this up. So I actually go ahead and just kind of twist the head of the brush into the paint. This will load it up, but it also twists it into a really nice fine point. We are done with our background with the black. This is a great time to take a little break and uh, you know maybe get a glass of wine and relax a little bit, let it set up and dry, and then we will meet back uh, to do all of our solid colors and all the farm animals. All right, it is a beautiful day. We've been outside for a little bit. My little puppy dog is here with me. That's the little pitter-patter on the wooden floors. And now our background is all set up and dry. So we are going to do our solid color blocking into all the shapes that we have traced here. Uh, so I'm going to do a little cow spot here. And I'm going to go ahead and make it a gray, dark gray, dark charcoal gray. So it's still a little bit different from the background. And then I think I'm going to do a, just a, a nice bright uh, pink uh, for my cute little piggy and then a little turquoise for my chicken. So you absolutely do not have to be literal with the colors. Um, you can do very different vibrant colors. As a matter of fact, I could do, I could do a very different color for the pig too. I just happen to uh, want that really pretty bright pink in there. I think that'd be fun because I'm going to do some roses on there. Uh, so, okay, let's go ahead and get started with our gray. I do want to make sure that all of my brushes are nice and dry. I did go ahead and wash them out. And let's talk about that a little bit. When you do start to wash out your brushes, you've got your bucket of water here. I give it a quick little spin and the water, apply, uh, apply a little bit of a firm pressure here. And then release all that paint then it's really important to make sure that our brushes are nice and dry. So I always make sure and get a paper towel and I dry off not only the bristles uh, but also the handle because sometimes the water can run down that handle too. And it is very important to do that because you never want to have wet, uh, you never want to have water in your brush when you go back to the canvas. Um, it can either look like a mascara run looks when it has that color in it or it actually just erases right through the solid color that you've done in your background. And it can be quite challenging to try to patch that later. Uh, so again, just good prevention. Make sure and dry your brush and you will be all set. All right, so let's go ahead and mix up some gray. So we have our black from our background. This was uh, here earlier. And then I'm going to add a little bit of white to this. All right, so I've got my white paint, my black. I'm going to go ahead and just start to mix this up here. So I'm going to go ahead and fill these in. Ta-da! So cute. All right, that is our sweet little cow. All right, and then we're going to come in with some light pink on our cute little piggy here. All right, so I am going to be using my little buddy brush here, and I need to mix up some pink. So I'm going to start with some red. I don't like to use the warm reds. I'm a, definitely a cool red girl. So I'm going to push these two together because, again, I'm making that pink color. I'm going pretty light, so I'm going to add a lot of white to mine.
So I'm going to take my little buddy and we're going to mix up some turquoise color. So I've got a dollop of white and then a dollop of green and then a dollop of blue. So about three equal parts to start with here. And I'm going to use my little buddy brush as much as I can to go ahead and fill in the larger areas. So I've done about as much as I can do with this big brush. So I'm going to have to put him in the bath and I'm going to take my little bit brush and I'm going to twist it into the paint and this will give me a nice fine point. Okay, nice. All right, you do want to give this some setup and dry time. Of course, I've been working on my chicken up top here, so my cute little piggy is uh, pretty dry at this point. Dry enough for me to be able to work in some roses over the top. I want my roses to be, hmm, I'm gonna do a dark hot pink, I think. So I'm gonna come in with a lot of red and just a teeny tiny amount of the white. So that gives us a really good start. And then I'm going to come in with my little bit brush and I'm gonna to start to do the white details that come in over the top. Come in with just solid red. I'm gonna do a quick little push here in the middle. So there it is. Our beautiful little roses are all in place, and that's all you need for your detail work. Uh, the other thing that we can start to do now, we can do really cute little leaves that also come in and fill in the space. So we will be using our little bit brush. So I'm going to be using this beautiful turquoise as my leaf color here. And the stroke here for a leaf, it looks like you make a parentheses and then another parentheses, and then you just fill those in. All right, so we have our fun little roses on our sweet little piggy here, and I've filled in the space just about as much as I want to there. I'm happy with how that looks. Uh, now we'll be looking at the detail work here on the top with our cute little chicken. I'm going to be teaching you a polka dot pattern which is super fun and easy to do and then also I will be doing a cute quick little heart on there too. So the look here is you just kind of go up and then down and then up and then down and then even if the heart's a little bit asymmetrical I think that's a really charming look. Then I'm going to come in around that with some polka dot pattern. And you can vary the shape of your dots depending on the size of the brush handle that you use. So with the technique that I do, I actually use the wooden handle here. So if you want a really tiny dot, then you use a tiny brush handle. But if you do want the dots to be quite a bit bigger, then I recommend using a bigger brush. I'm going to use my Big Daddy brush so that you see it very well and also I just think it makes a very fun pattern over the surface. So again, this is the brush handle here that I'm going to be using. This is the Big Daddy brush that I'm going to push into the white paint, just like that. And then I'll just press straight forward and it just makes a beautiful little dot every time. Maybe one more here. Let's see. Let's do one more right there. All right, good. Okay, we could still do some white highlights around these shapes, and I'm going to dip into that white paint, and I will just push straight forward, and I'll take this all the way around. Then 
you can make a nice little line that comes in between each little dot. So we are done with our beautiful farm animals. They look so cute. And now it is time to sign our masterpiece. And I'm gonna make sure I have a nice thin line here. So I'm gonna go ahead and twist into the paint. So this is a lot of fun to do and again so easy with our downloadable tracing templates. Let me show you those one more time. So this is what you can find on our website and we do recommend printing it out on hard cardstock. That way you can cut it out uh, with a lot more ease. So but again this is what you find on our website tipsyartist.com. So it's so much fun and easy. And then of course, this is always here for you, uh, for your instruction. But we just thank you so much for joining us today. And we look forward to seeing you next week when we bring you another painting. So again, subscribe below. And uh, we just enjoy you so much. Thank you again. See you next time.